So today I'm going to be making a rabbit terrine. Uh, Simon was out ferreting yesterday and he dropped off some rabbits for me. So what I've done is um, took the back legs off one of them for the dish. So what I've got on my board is just a carrot cut up, an onion cut up, two cloves of garlic crushed and a pint of chicken stock. And this is just the first part of the recipe. This is just to um, cook down the rabbit legs real nice and slow so they're tender and fall off the bone. And obviously the veg just adds a bit of flavour to it. So in my good old slow cooker, which is used for everything, I'll just put in the onions and the carrots and the garlic. And I'll lay the rabbit legs on top of all that. Then I add the chicken stock to it. Then what I'm going to do is put this on low for eight hours. Then we're going to pull the meat off the bone. Better share a little sneak peek with you before I shred the rabbit. But I haven't finished getting it all out of the slow cooker yet. But you can see that this is all just falling off the bone, and that is exactly how you want it. But look at that, nice and easy. Right, so everything is ready now to start assembling the terrine. So I've got my cooked rabbit meat here. I've got some chestnut mushrooms. There's about 100 grams in here that I've just roughly chopped up and cooked in a little bit of white wine. And I've got some um, chives in the background. I've seasoned my rabbit meat. So everything goes into the rabbit meat. And just give everything a mix up. In fact, it's probably easier just to get your hands in there. So, I'm making little ramekin style terrines, and I've lined it with grease um, cling film. And if you get your rabbit mix, push it in fairly tight into your ramekin. And I have got some of the cooking liquor on the stove. I'm just reducing it. So once I've filled all my ramekins, I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls of the cooking mix on top like that. And I'm going to place that in the fridge for 12 hours to give it a really good set. And then that's it. So I'm just going to fill the rest of my ramekins out now. This is the tree now, all set and complete. This is the little rectangle one I made up because the one I made in the ramekin, um, I ate it. So this is <laughs> this is the only one I can actually show you, but it's set really well, this has, with that liquor. So if you get yourself a couple of extra rabbits, save the back legs and give this little mini tree a go. Also, if you've got more meat than what I had, you can make a bigger one with exactly the same ingredients but this one made quite a nice little terrine suitable for a starter so I'll see you soon for another one